Welcome to today's On Deck Discussion. Today we're out here at Spring Arbor University as a part of their brand new Hank Burbridge Field. It's amazing out here. And today we're going to be chatting with sophomore slugger Aiden Brunin from Cedar Springs, Michigan. So far the season for the Cougars, he's batting 336 after having an impressive freshman season where he batted around 300 at the plate. And get this, out of so far in his college career, he started 72 out of 73 games. That's incredible. We're going to be talking to him about some of his batting techniques and we're going to even step into the cage. Should be a lot of fun. Aiden, you're on deck. I'm here with shortstop Aiden Brunin from Spring Arbor University. First off, uh, congratulations. Last year you had a great freshman year. So far, a great start to this season. Uh, what do you think has been the key to your success that you've been having so far this year? Uh, I think a lot of the success I've had this year is from my coaches. Uh, they've always got me ready. And in the summer, I do a lot of baseball on my mm -hmm. off time when I'm not working. So uh, I think just all the work in the background and all the work that I've been doing is leading to my success. What do you think makes a great hitter at this level of college baseball? The thing to me that makes a great hitter is uh, having the right mindset when you go to the plate. A lot of guys, they just want to hit, want to hit, want to hit. And right. I think having the mindset like baseball is a hard game. Right. Uh, try not to get so mad at yourself. That's something I struggled with in the past because I always got mad at myself and it would make me a worse player. Yeah. So I think when you fail, because we're playing a game of failure, uh, learn from it, see what you did wrong, don't get mad at yourself. and go to the plate wanting to get wanting to get back at the plate. Yeah, for sure. When you step into the cage and practice hitting, do you have a, a routine when you're in the cage? I do. Uh, I work on away pitches a lot, mm -hmm. even like two balls off the plate, because at our level, guys like to dot pitches on the outside part of the plate. So the more familiar you are with the pitch, the better you are at the game, because that's what they'll be throwing you, sliders away, fastballs away. Do you have any uh, challenges uh, when it comes to pitching or when you're, when you're at the plate? Um, when I'm about to play, the hardest thing is is we'll play like Taylor, the number ninth ranked team in the country, and they have a crazy staff that throws upper 80s, low 90s. So seeing a 90 mile an hour fastball, and then they'll bring in a reliever that's throwing 78. Right. So the speed difference is that's a tough one. But other than that, you know, I just go up there with a good mindset and just try to be good at what I'm doing. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have kind of a, a philosophy when when you're at the plate, anything uh, that you're thinking of that you try to, uh, I guess, do? Yeah. So. What I tell myself in the box when the pitch is coming is backside. I just think backside because when I get in trouble is when I try to pull the ball. Because a lot of kids want to pull the ball and hit a pull side home run because it looks cool. But having the right mindset of going backside, backside double, that's what I tell myself is what gets me in the right spot. So do you have any advice to younger hitters maybe who are watching who are in high school or want to uh, kind of up their game at a, a higher college level? Yeah. So. My advice would be to always get the extra work in. Um, something my dad always put into my mind when I was younger is there's always guys that are working harder than you out there. So when you have an extra time, go to the cage, go to the field with your friends, go have fun with it and go hit the ball as much as you can, go to the pitch and ground balls. So coming back a little bit to the cage routine here, do you have a, a certain number of, of hits you take or a set amount uh, when you go to practice? Um, I don't have a certain set amount, but when I came into college, it was always like as many reps as you can take, as many hits as you can take. And um, Markin, our head coach, mm -hmm. he taught me that a good hitter takes less reps yep. and they feel it out more. So if you just keep taking reps, keep, keep taking reps and not knowing like what you're doing wrong or like how your swing feels, then it's, you're not helping yourself at all. The guys that get better are the guys that take like five or six swings around and they like, okay, I did this wrong, so work on this the next rep. Yeah. So I haven't picked up a bat since, I don't know, maybe middle school. So uh, maybe we'll take a few swings here and you have to show me some of your techniques. Sounds good to me. Now it's time to get to the fun part here. See if I can take a couple swings. Sounds good. So what I would do different is if you get back in your stance. Yep. I'll put the ball. If you get back in yeah. your stance, you're really closed off. Okay. So I would put your back elbow up a little bit. Yep. And when you swing, don't lean forward because that's right. how you roll over. Right. And you when you swing, when you swing, you want to keep your front leg stacked and keep being your back leg so when you come through, you have okay. more power. Yep. More of the body yeah. turn. Okay. Should it good stance here? Yeah, it's good stance. Okay. It's correlation with the ball. 
uh, you know, I keep swinging forward. That, well, one thing you're doing is when you swing, you're stepping out with your front leg. Yeah, so yeah. try to keep that front leg yep. in. So when you're going, you're going to the right field. Okay. Sorry. Let's see if we get a ball here. Yeah, that was better. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to chat with us today and show me uh, some batting techniques. I know I haven't swung a bat in a while, so I'm going to definitely keep working on it. And good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Well, it was great chatting with sophomore sensation Aiden Brunnen today. And I even learned something myself with my batting techniques and how to improve my swing. And it was great getting to watch him and learn about his routine in the batting cage. And now he gets ready to step up to the plate. After this break, let's play ball.